Let's have a look at two guitars, the Luke 2 and the JP6, both made by Ernie Ball Music Man. I'll run you through some sound demos first before I uh, talk about the specs afterwards. Let's have a look at the Luke here. It's got a uh, alder body. It also has three active EMG pickups. It's got a floating trim with vintage bent saddles. It's got a five-way selector switch. 
22 fret neck, low profile frets, rosewood fretboard, locking shaler tuners, compensated nut. It's a pretty versatile guitar. Let's have a look at the back. You can see it's got a five bolt neck plate as well as a sculpted heel. I've removed the uh, back plate from the trim to show you it's got a big brass block in there for a nice sustain. There's the EMG battery compartment. There's your output jack. Uh, the neck on this thing is a very soft V shape. It's, a, it's actually quite comfortable to play. Let's have a look at the Petrucci model, the JP6. It's got a base wood body with mahogany tone block, uh, DiMarzio liquefier and crunch lab pickups, three-way selector switch, floating trim with solid steel saddles, you can see that. And it's also got a piezo bridge pickup in there, which is pretty cool. 24 fret neck with high profile frets, locking shaler tuners. Uh, it's a really classy looking guitar that's a lot of fun to play. Let's have a look at the back of this one now. It, you can see it's got the five bolt neck plate with a sculpted heel. The five bolts make the neck very, very secure. It's not going anywhere. The uh, big brass block as well for the trim. There is your EMG pickup battery compartment, as well as two outputs, one for the piezo and one for the regular guitar pickups. So you could run both pickups at the same time, the piezo and the regular magnetic pickups through two outputs. Pretty cool. There's also an EQ and mix control on the back of the uh, output jack for the piezo. Let's have a look at the trim. This is the one on the Luke. Uh, you can see it's more of a vintage looking trim with uh, bent saddles and it stays in tune really, really well. I'm quite impressed with how well it stays in tune. And here's the trim on the JP6. This is more of a newer looking trim uh, with stainless steel saddles. And this also stays in tune really, really well. Music Man did a really wonderful job on these. Let's have a look at the neck. Here's the neck on the JP6. You can see the locking tuners that hold the tune really, really well. It's got a nice bird's eye maple neck. Uh, the neck on this thing is super thin. It's really, really thin. There's not a lot of meat to it, but uh, it makes easy access to the fretboard for sure. Let's have a look at the Luke model. You can see the locking tuners. It's got some nice flame going on in the neck there. It also has a very pronounced V shape to it that's actually quite comfortable to play. It uh, has a little more girth than the Petrucci model. So that's a look at both guitars. Uh, they're both a lot of fun to play, both quality American-made instruments. If I had to offer my opinion on both guitars, I'd say the Luke is a little warmer sounding, a little more uh, basic rock and roll kind of guitar, whereas the Petrucci, it's uh, a little more metal sounding, a little more harsher, brighter sounding, but it's a lot of fun to play as well, and it's a little more versatile with the piezo. Uh, for the clean sounds, but the Luke as well can get some really, really great clean sounds with the EMGs. So that's my demo. Thanks for watching, and hit me up with any questions you may have. Thank you.